Central Texas pharmacies are facing a daunting shortage of medications critical for managing pain and controlling behavior problems. Hydrocodone and Adderall are just the latest in a series of medications that pharmacies are experiencing this shortage. Bessem Oben, the director of the clinical operation at Gold Star Pharmacy, is here to speak a little bit more about this. Thank you so much for being here today. It's a pleasure and an honor. Thank you for having me. Well, we wanted to start off, what do shortages of medications mean? What does that mean? Does that mean that pharmacies aren't able to access them or does it mean that they're not being produced as frequently? What does that mean to people? So a little bit of both. Um, when men medications are manufactured, um, they go through a process. So there are wholesalers that source the medication from the manufacturers and then retail pharmacies like Gold Star Pharmacy would then get it from these wholesalers. So that's kind of the process of getting the medications before we dispense it to the patients. When we talk about there being a shortage, is this affecting you all directly? Is this something that we've seen in our area? How has this impacted our region? Most definitely. So the manufacturers are experiencing um, shortages so they can't source some of the raw materials they need to produce the medications and because of that the wholesalers that we source it from cannot get the medications and we definitely have been seeing shortages over the past couple of years actually. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean for people when we talk about a shortage like this um, does that impact our consumers does that impact you how does that impact our region? Everybody is impacted. So um, everybody across the healthcare spectrum. So the manufacturers are impacted, the wholesalers, the pharmacies, um, the prescribers, of course, and then the patients who ultimately need these medications. So everybody is affected somehow. Why is it that the, this is something we're seeing? What ultimately leads to a shortage? So there's um, a few different reasons why a drug might be um, on back order or we have problems getting it. One of them, for instance, with uh, stimulants like Adderall um, is a simple matter of demand and supply. So we have seen over the past few years an uptick in the number of prescriptions uh, that are actually um, prescribed by, by the physicians. And because of that, the manufacturers are just having a hard time keeping up with the increased demand. Um, that is one of the main reasons. There have also been shortages in the raw materials that the manufacturers need to make these medications. And so because of that, we're seeing shortages, especially in this class, in this drug class. How important is it that people have access to drugs like hydrocodone and Adderall? Why is this important for people to have access to those d drugs? So Adderall and drugs like Adderall um, are in a class of, of medications called stimulants. And those are used for a variety of reasons, but mostly for conditions like attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, otherwise known as ADHD. Um, and then medications like hydrocodone are used for pain management. And so they're used to manage um, acute pain or chronic pain. And we have just a lot of patients, pediatric up to adult, and even especially like in the hospice population, uh, patients depend on these, these medications. So they are very important in managing the health of a lot of different patients. Well, definitely something we'll continue to monitor as we learn more. But thank you, Bessem, so much for coming in and talking more about this and kind of walking us through this process. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.